Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to BeamNG Drive. Today we're going to be taking a look at a few wide body kits. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, "Huh, why are you bombing the toge in 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 a in a, a, a stock ass 200 BX?" Well, well, I'll, I'll tell you that reason by uh, showing you an example. So, uh we go to vehicles and then we go to 200 BX and then let's say, "Oh, type LS pre facelift M." Hmm, this looks very nice. I uh why uh, I want to drive this one. The, the game basically tells you to uh, to ligma, ligma nuts and then destroys your force feedback as you can hear. Anyways, I'm going to respawn the base model before the motors in my G29 self-destruct. And we'll customize this thing because, uh, yeah. Shove a race oil cooler on there. High performance radiator. Uh, V1 rocket bunny side skirts. JDM tail lights front bumper gonna do the the v1 rocket bunny and the v v1 rocket bunny rear bumper and you gotta do the the rocket bunny cut fenders and also rear rocket bunny rear fender flares and while we're doing this i'm gonna put on the race coilovers and boom there we go we got Bruh. some rocket but what what right you gotta put the the fender flares on i forgot about that my bad boom there we go now you see we do have some whack-ass fitment on this thing but that's fine you also see we got the front front bumper here and the <laughs> you got room for a for an inner cooler in there but it just does it doesn't go in there but there's even more customization you can do front lip front rocket bunny splitter and then if you apply that you can add canards and boom that's that's looking more like a a, a rocket bunny kit for a 240sx i have no clue if this thing's based on the 180sx the 200sx the 240 um judging by the looks of it it might in the name of it it might be a 200sx you never know you also can't forget about the wing they have so you got the high doluck wing which looks like that not not bad and you also have it in in carbon but then you have the the low wing which looks like that it, it, it's not my preferred taste i wish it was up a little bit higher and then you also have the the chassis mount which that thing actually looks kind of cool not gonna lie anyways i'm gonna customize this thing a little bit more and then we'll getting we'll get hitting the toge all right now we look like a, a, a basic wannabe drifter because you know you cannot drift for shit that that includes me so we got white car bronze wheels goofy off fitment nothing i can really do about that on other than widening the tires and i don't really want to do that because this thing has a 138 horsepower so i did a little bit more customization added an intake lowered the weight of the flywheel added this cool exhaust right there and i i think we're i think we're ready to go obviously we're gonna have a stock interior and a low horsepower car because you spent all your money on a overpriced rocket bunny kit straight from japan still gotta work on your drifting skills bruh okay we gonna drift this no we not we this ain't this thing is drifting i forgot about the the forza skill counter also being a cheapo since you spent all your money on a rocket bunny kit you welded the rear diff instead of buying a race limited slip Sing does not want to slip out. Anyways, drifting is just for posers. Don't worry about it. What's going on, guys? If you wouldn't mind, please hit that subscribe button and the bell and hit that like button. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I think I'll be able to do it. I just need help from all you guys. Thanks, and enjoy the rest of the video. Ooh, almost had her slip out a little bit on, the, on there. Ooh, okay. We're fine. Spent way too much money on this rocket bunny kit for it to not be fine. What are we stuck on? Oh, we're in literally in a pole. Okay, pull that out by the pull the wheel off. That that's fine. All right, now who really cares about drifting? You you, you want to be able to want to be able to challenge someone to a gum tape death match and still lose. So I've actually used this kit, uh, I believe, a few times in my past videos, and I, I never noticed it. But this is the uh, Okudai wide body kit for the Covet, and I put it on some SSR wheels and made them white, and then put race wheels on top of that because uh, grip. You no, know I think they would be a little wider. Ah, now we're on squared 15 by 9 wheels, as you can see by the the deeper dish. But um, anyways, time to hit the mountain, since drifting is for losers. I put power steering on this and it's still really heavy. Oil starvation, guess I'm too fast, baby. Okay, so this thing's pretty good on the downhill, but let's see what it's like on the, the uphill. This thing actually still spins the tires. Like any Civic driver, you gotta, gotta bounce her off rev limiter in first gear. Let everybody else know that they're racing a lawnmower. Oh. To be 
be honest, this thing doesn't handle that bad. Put some, put on some wide sticky tires and boom, you got you a mountain goat. But before we change vehicles, you gotta do basically what's required by a Civic driver. Reverse to first. And almost put her on the guardrail. <laughs> So now we're in the Wendover. Not not a car that you'd usually see, but there's a reason why I want to want to use this car because never mind. I thought this thing had a wagon customization. <laughs> anyway, so change it to the Brigsby Unibody that adds some That's wide a, fenders in the rear there. Anyway, so I'll customize this and I'll be back. So so from the back, this thing looks pretty normal. Um, other than the fact that the exhaust is lit. Hold on, let me fix that. Yeah, that'll work. Anyways, from the the back, this thing looks pretty normal. It has a has a pretty big wing. So I, 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 I kind of had issues, so I could either go no splitter or a, a whole ass dinner table size splitter on the front of this car. So I went for the, the dinner table splitter. It's like, who's going to stop me? But th this thing's hopefully going to be a pre pretty good thing because the wheels don't look like they fit. I, I could either go skinny wheels and have them be race wheels or I could go big wheels and then they'd be drag wheels. And I think they'd flex under pressure, or whatever. So um, also got the red interior and the, the sheep mindset of race wheel because why not? And also... We we have no no passenger seat because street racers don't need girlfriends. Holy Jesus, that backfire. This seems pretty planted through the corners, not gonna lie. Until you hit a tree. Cut in the corner or curve in the corners. Seems pretty good. And then I don't wanna talk about it. That crackle is nice. I love that crackle. Save that. That last corner is always kind of, kind of, kind of catches you off. What did I hit? Did I, did I seriously hit a reflector? Wow. Oh, this thing also has pop down headlights. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see how this thing is uphill. I'm pretty sure that was my transmission falling out. So this thing is not too bad uphill either. It's not bad downhill and it's not bad uphill. Pretty good all around car to be honest. The, 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 the bumper's hanging off by a little bit. And I also almost forgot to mention, this thing uh, did not have a an actual rear bumper. So if you got into a rear end, it would have went from crumple zone to crime scene. And finally, we can take this stupid livery off. And finally, we have the Sunburst KC wide body, and I'm gonna quickly customize that, and I'll be right back. And finally, we have the last car of the build. As you can see, it's it's, it's still on a Teehee 37. And I feel like this is going to be more of a uphill master since obviously it's a all-wheel drive car. Has almost 420 horsepower. Not, not too bad, not too shabby. So we'll get her going. Things getting a little bit unstable. Probably because this thing is slammed on its nuts. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Did not have any issues. Handled it very well. And now we'll try the uphill. Ran her a little wide there, that's fine. Ran too wide there and hit a tree, okay. All right, I'm gonna try that again on stock right height, see if that did anything. Oh yeah, it's not, not jerking and hopping like it was before. Okay, uh, I think I just jumped over my uh, front bumper. Where is it? 
Oh, it's under the car. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's going to be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys do like, comment, and subscribe.